Fel in a Feldenkrais training, you're going to start to have an understanding of systems theory, of psychology, of physics, of body mechanics, of learning, of human development, of developmental movement. And all of this comes together in a unique way because it's not taught in the general way of me standing at a whiteboard and writing things down and you reading a book, but it's taught through the experience of movement to explore these ideas. Feldenkrais, one of his great claims to fame quite accurately was he could take an abstract idea and give someone a concrete experience of it. So for example, if someone has a question about balance, I could talk about balance forever and we could read about it forever. In fact, most people don't even think about balance until they start to use it. So then the question is, how do I create a context where someone has a physical sensory experience of themselves through balance? And I'll say that when the experiential aspect of an idea comes together with the cognitive understanding, that's when we really understand something. And unfortunately, most of our educations, we have the cognitive understanding without the experiential aspect. Now, it's tricky because in the experiential, the sensory aspect of learning, it's usually outside of language. So initially, people feel, I'm not understanding this because they want that cognitive framework. But as I said, as the training develops and the learning progresses and you progress as a student, as a teacher eventually, that when those things coalesce together, there's a concrete understanding of something that you can apply with different people in different situations.